Corel Draw has some built-in tabs that work if you have a paragraph. So let's just switch over here to our second page. And I'll scroll down to the bottom half of this page. There we go. And let's put in a text paragraph block just like that. Now when I let go, you'll see that we have tabs showing right across the top up here. Now to make this a little more interesting, I'm going to bring in some text. I'm just going to grab some text here from an article that I wrote and I'll copy that and I'll just paste this in here there we go we can change the size a little bit up to 14 and bring back in our paragraphs there we go now if I go over here to the front I just click right in front of that A for about. Let me just zoom in a little bit here so you can see it a little bit better. And I hit the tab key. You can see how the text will tab over based upon these tabs that are right up here. Now I can grab these tabs and actually move the tabs around to a different location if I want to. Or I can you know, adjust them very easily. But we can come in and work with our tabs as well. You get a little better view of where these tabs are up on the text menu and tabs. This brings up the tab setting dialog box. And we can see our tab locations here are every 0.5 of an inch. And they're all standard align left. And there's all the positions for all of those. You can remove them. You know, any particular one, just click on it and you can remove it. You can click in here and you can adjust the position if you want you can change the kind of an alignment it is left right center or decimal so you can put in you know your decimal tabs if you're lining up a, a column of numbers for instance you can set in leaders as well and adjust your leader options for your tabs and again you can remove an individual tab or remove everything and start from scratch very easily here just using the tab settings to put a new tab in the easiest way here is just to choose your location and click add to add that location in or come up here and just click right into the ruler as I just did there with that tab and that then you can kind of see it moving around right there there it is and that puts it in there's my new tab right there and pull it off to remove that tab so very easy to work very very natural way of working here with your tabs and again you automatically have tabs every half of an inch. And if I backspace, see it, it jumps back on those tabs. So there you go, working with tabs. And again, they're going to be working if you're working in a paragraph box, like I have there, a paragraph text box. That's when your tabs are going to be showing. If we go over here to the first page, let me go to the cover page. And I'm still on my text tool. Let's click into this text and this is just text on the page it's not in a paragraph box and thus we don't have tabs for that so if you're just clicking on text and putting text on your page no tabs if you're putting your text into a paragraph box then you will have tabs thank you for watching my video I hope you found it useful if you like this video click on the like button below to let others know you can click the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos in the future. I'm frequently uploading new training videos. Don't forget to check out my website at howtogurus.com. You can share this video with your friends and coworkers. Just click on share and then click on the social media buttons. Feel free to comment on my videos. I try to answer all comments as quickly as I can. And finally, you can get all of my training videos on DVD at howtogurus.com. Thanks again for watching.